I I love this little section honestly like oh, my paintings being covered by a bag I got myself something I never I haven't invested in like my clothing and this specific brand Stone Island I absolutely love their clothes I'm not gonna show you guys but you'll see it eventually but yeah how doing I hope y'all doing good um, thank you for tuning in to another video I love talking and y'all love hearing me talk so this is perfect perfect combination of things uh, let's get straight into it I like to do that I don't like to keep you around and keep you waiting like let's get into it so in this video I'm gonna be talking about how to be a man I'm clearly a trans man um, so I think you know I have a perspective on just what does it mean to be a man so for me being a man is, I used to think that being a man was being as aggressive as I could be, being like down to do stuff, just like violent. That's what I thought like appropriate masculinity was. So like, that's what I would just go for and do. Um, and like over the years, I've realized like that's not masculinity and how, you know what I mean? Like that is masculinity, but that's toxic masculinity. Like, I don't know, being trans too, like before I was just gay, even when I started to just be more masculine, I had to like, just use what I saw in my world and be like, okay, that's an example of masculinity. That's an example of how to be a man. So I just, I kind of took from other people's like, I kind of took, you know what I mean? Like if I saw a dude that I kind of looked up to or admired or thought was cool, I was trying to latch onto what that description of masculinity was. Where's my buddy? Pierre! Pierre, what are you doing? He's chewing VCRs. I think he's hungry. But yeah, so... I don't know, I feel like I just have to latch on to what type of masculinity that I thought was legit, right? So I'm saying all this to say, like recently I've been doing a lot of like studying, research, just like getting a lot of insight into what it means to be a man and what that looks like, right? Like I've learned that the toxic masculinity, and I'm not saying this as in like men are toxic. That's not it. You can be me, you can be trans and have toxic masculinity. You can be a female and have toxic masculinity. You can be a man and have toxic masculinity. But toxic masculinity definitely does affect men way more than it affects women. And that's just statistics. That's that's just the truth, right? Men are targeted. Men are, when, when you assign a male at birth or when you are trans and you identify as male now, you are assigned this role to be a man. There's like a pre- a pre list of the of boxes you have to check to be a man and this can be perpetuated through your family meaning there's systems in place that say to be a man you have to provide you know like the, the, the stereotype you have to provide you have to be the care you have to be the not the caregiver god no that's not the woman is the caretaker in society's eyes but the man has to provide the man has to be strong the man has to like trucks the man has to lead the man has to be overbearing like that is all you know superman saving everyone um the hulk strong big guy like these notions have just been pushed right so yeah that's that's just how it comes men receive that because women when you're assigned female at birth or you identify as a female you get pushed feminine you should be a girl you should close your legs you shouldn't you shouldn't you should be modest you shouldn't you should be you should be all that right you should be demure you should be quiet calm let the man lead so there's these things that are just put into place for men and women to do and for men how to be a man usually is is about not showing emotions a lot of guys are not able to show their emotions fully because oh you're a pussy if you don't show you if you cry oh you're being a baby oh you're being a bitch or and this is not to shame men this is just what have what has been the cycle has just continued this is what little boys are being told on the playground like they're not being told by adults but you know little boys playing with each other saying hey you're gay hey you're being pussy suck it up that that's normal bro like even me like kids are just ruthless bro oh my god i want you to think about my past like i've been bullied in school for sure like just being me i've always been like this my whole life i didn't just wake up and start being masculine like i've always been like a masculine girl but i like you feel me that's also why if you haven't watched my video go check it out it's literally titled um i'm a female man because i feel like i'm a female man because i like I've been like this my whole life. The only thing that's changed is be, is I started doing hormones and I and I'm pursuing like gender affirming care on the on the medical side. But I've been like this my entire life, and I still have to say like, so I've been on the playground with other boys, and like all my friends were boys as a kid, bro. Like I just I just I just liked the masculinity, like that was just me. But I also liked girl stuff too. So I had 
both. Anyways, I just wanted to put that out there. I, f I feel like a female man, so this is the perspective that I'm giving because I don't consider myself... I, I know I'm a man. I'm 100% man. I I'm a masculine dude, of course. But I can also grab from the feminine side, the girl side of me, because like I'm still me. I'm still the person that got conditioned as a, as a girl for 14 years of their life. 15. Can't just erase that. I was... I was conditioned i was told i was a girl for 15 years just because i say i'm a trans man does not erase that 15 years that i have that i have lived the life that i've lived as a girl like i'm a girl like a chicken lays an egg it's an egg i don't you know what i mean like it's just but i'm also a man bro with this is this is my take on these things is like i that's why i say i'm a female man because i'm so i'm i i i, I feel both i feel like i'm both 100 percent 100 percent 100 i feel like i'm both and then sometimes i feel like i'm just i'm just super masked and then i feel like i'm super femme and then i don't know i feel like i break labels labels don't know how to work with me because i just break them <laughs> labels don't labels get scared of me labels are scared of me you know what i mean like I just said I'm a female man. To a lot of people, that's a contradiction. I just said I'm a female man. Labels don't work on me. They don't. They they just don't. I I, I don't. I don't. I don't. What's the word? I do not. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't submit to labels. I don't concede, confide. Con there's something. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I don't. Con some, it's something like that. Anyways, I don't. Yeah, I don't submit to labels. We can use that word but yeah so okay how to be a man right i just want to say this to a lot of guys out there like for real for real bro again i said i'm a female man but also i know i'm a man as well and people that know me day to day they know i'm a dude right like it's that's just what it is i mean i am it's like my outer appearance is just man right my outer appearance is man but you don't know the inside of me and what that is my brain the way that i think how I interpret the world. You get me? So just don't, I know this sounds so cliche, but don't judge a book by its cover. Like I know I present super mask. I got pegs, you feel me? I work out. I do like pretty simple masculine, masculine things. I like trucks. I like fast cars. I like just like, I, you know what I mean? I like playing, I played Call of Duty all my life. Like I do a lot of mask things that doesn't show who I am on the inside. And I think we should take that same look to a lot of men, like, because these systems that are in place that just kind of condition men and women to act a certain way. Like, if you're a man, you can't cry. You have to be this, you have to be that. And if you're a woman, you have to be this, you have to be that. I feel like to break out of that, we just have to, like, be and not expect people to be a certain way based on how they look. Did you get me? Like, just because you see me and I look so super mass, don't just assume I'm a straight, cis, heterosexual man. Do you know what I mean? But I also like when people assume that I'm just like a, a cis dude because it's kind of nice to like, I think I say that it's nice because when people assume you're a cis, straight, heterosexual man, they're not going to judge you on any basis. You know what I mean? If they're not a, like, okay, if someone told me they're trans or cis, I wouldn't treat them any differently. But there's just people out there that when they just assume that you're a cis, hetero man, they just treat you as such. They don't, they don't second get, you know what I mean? Like, so I guess that's kind of like the privilege side. Like, you're privileged when people just assume, when you're cis-passing, when you're assumed, right? But, um, yeah, I, I just want to be an example, really, to show people, like, that you can be a man in so many different ways. Like, just because you're a man that likes feminine things doesn't make you any less of a man. Just because you're a man that, I'm trying to think, just because you're a man that doesn't like all the stereotypical things that men are supposed to like, you can be a man and not like cars and still be a man. You can still, you could be, you can, you can be whatever that's what i'm trying to say about like that's what i'm trying to get across is like you can be whatever you don't have to because you look a certain way you don't have to act a certain way just because i was a girl at birth does not mean i had to wear skirts dresses get a husband like that's just all based off my genitals and the way i look isn't that kind of limiting to just like have to and and the thing that's very toxic in this culture is we force people into these boxes because we don't know any better when you are used to there being two sides right men do this girls do that men do this women do that girls do this boys do that like if that's the way that the household thinks the institutions think their schools are like that you know even at school girls on this side boys on this side i'm not saying that's bad but it is a little bit problematic when we're doing simple things like i don't know simple things where the divide in gender or sexes doesn't really have to be there like it can be more harmful than good because we're, we're constantly separating separating oh girls do this oh boys do that 
Oh, you're a girl, you can't play with that. Oh, you're a boy, you can't like pink. Oh, you're a girl, you shouldn't like dark colors. Oh, you're like that divide. Like those kids take that into their homes. Those kids grow up and they still believe that they still believe in the divide. Now those parents are teaching their kids about the divide. And not like it's just a constant, like things keep reinforcing it. So it's hard to just be yourself. So then when you're on the playground and you're a little boy and you like singing and dancing and Barbies, people are like, Whoa, like they, they look at you like the other, they other you because you're not doing what society and the rules in place say you should be doing. Well, it says boys should be wearing shorts, playing with guns and riding bikes, but you like playing with dolls, doing like your hair, doing your sister's hair. So people look at you as, oh, what's wrong with him? Why did he come out like that? He's not, he's not being the norm. He's, he's, and when people other you, like me, I'm other. People would see me, I'm not a cis hetero man. I'm not a cis hetero man. I'm gay, I'm bisexual, queer, trans. Yeah, just in case no one really knew. I, I'm, I'm definitely not straight, but I'm not 100% gay. I'm everything, I'm queer, I'm bi. I like every, I like, I don't care. Labels don't, I don't have a label to who I'm attracted to. And I don't have a label for myself really. Well, I kind of do, but it's very broad. But yeah, um, I, I, <sighs> I just wish there was more freedom for people to do what they want to do, right? What if we lived in a world where you were a girl and no one looked at you crazy because you want to play Call of Duty? What if you were a boy and no one looked at you crazy because you want to try on a skirt and a crop top to see how it feels because you're interested and you like, you just like that? What if no one looks at you crazy because you're a girl and you want to cut your hair short? What if no one looks at you crazy because you're a girl and yeah, you want to taper. What if no one looks at you crazy because you're a boy and you want to put bows in your hair? Like, what if we just didn't have those type of rules? What if you were a boy and you wore combat boots and cargo pants, but your shirt was pink? Like, what if you could mix and match it and just, cause you just can and you want to and that's what you want to do. Like you were just free. You don't have to go and just buy a plain black shirt and black shorts and some white shoes to wear because that's what men wear and men don't care too much about their appearance and you know what i mean like what if we could just be and i the answer to that is we can just be i'm a living example of what that is to just be i walk around in capris or what do they call culotte pants i'm wearing some right now i wear culottes open look at my music video i just dropped boligrafo i was wearing these long shorts that remind me of when I used to wear skirts. I, I like flowy things. I'm a, I'm a guy that likes flowy things. You know what I mean? But I also love wearing sports attire. I love wearing my Nike sweatsuits. I love wearing my, my, my sweaters that enhance the broadness of my shoulders, you know? But I also like wearing tight clothes that show my figure. Like, I also like talking like this, but I could also talk like this. Like, I, there's no rules to things. And boxing people in, it doesn't, what you choose to do in this life does not, not that it doesn't matter, but it ain't that deep. Because you are a man does not mean you have to follow the rules in place. I'm not saying don't be a good person and don't provide for yourself and you know if you want and others, but don't feel like I'm a man, I gotta go give me a wife tomorrow and I gotta provide. Well, you know what I mean? Like if that's what you want to do, amazing. If you God has told you that what's gonna make you feel the happiest is going to get a wife if you're a man and getting kids and settling down and being the provider while your wife stays at home. 100% do it. I'm not, this is not a bash at men. None of that. This is just to say there's healthy masculinity. There's healthy femininity. It's just when we're boxing each other in and then being policed to each other. Like you're not being girl, you're not being a girl enough. You're not being a boy enough. Like who are you to tell someone else they're being enough of what they already are? You're already enough. You're already enough. It's like you feel me? Like I used to think that, oh my God, I'm a girl and I'm, I want to wear sweats. I don't feel like I'm girly enough. You are already enough. If I have on a baggy shirt and some baggy sweats, and, I, and I'm a girl, I'm still a girl. Just like now, I could wear a skirt and a, and a, and a, and a little thin shirt and I'm still a dude. Cause this stuff, clothes don't define you. And it's like, we, we look at these little tiny things to define a whole human being, it's crazy. Oh, cause they got an earring, they gay. Oh, they got an earring, they feminine. Like, we're assigning these labels to things. Since when is an earring feminine? We have assigned earrings to be a feminine thing. Like, it's so easy. We can literally just be like, 
Oh, never mind. Earrings are not that feminine. And they're not because we made it up. We, we put those labels on the things. Like, we make them stick. We make the label stick. If somebody says hugging your guy friends is gay and everyone says it and believes it, then guess what? Hugging your guy friends is going to be gay. But if people don't think that, it won't be gay because it ain't like we make things stick. We make the truth the truth. You see what I'm saying? Which is why I believe we have the capacity, the ability, I'm doing it to make reality's reality like i am living proof of breaking down the norms of how i'm not girly enough to be a girl and i'm not man enough to be a man in society's eyes sometimes like the way that the rules are and the structures are that's that's how i feel i'm not a girly girl but i still identify as a female and i'm not a super crazy masculine dude 24 7 but i'm still a man like you can you can live you can live with 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 all of your identity and all of what you like doing. You can like, you can like to bake little sweets. You can like to bake cupcakes, but still like to go drive fast cars and trucks. You get what I'm saying? Like you can you can play football, but still love to paint. Like there's no, just live your life. Just live your life. I, I hope that if anything, again, this is not to bash men because men and women we don't wake up and choose to be in these systems or have these thoughts or have society look at us different no we none of us asked for this it's just things that we gotta kind of like tame you know when the fire's getting too much it just got it just blew up we can we have the ability to contain it that's what we need to do with this toxic masculinity and all these to even toxic i feel like femininity like oh you're not a girl you don't have your hair done your legs your hair's not combed your legs are not closed you're oh you don't have a boyfriend yet you're not really you know serving your purpose as a woman in this world you know because it affects all of us like people it affects all of us and that's what i really want us to know i just i just really understood like men's issues are not just men's issues they're also women's issues women's issues are not just women's issues they're also men's issues trans issues are not just trans issues they're issues for the whole population because if we're treating one group of people differently based on their race gender sexuality whatever that shows a flaw in the way that we just are as beings do you know what I mean? Like, if we're being weird to one group, then, like, that just says, like, we need to go check, check the systems because we shouldn't have, you get what I'm saying? Like, it goes across the board. If, if people are discriminating against Mexican people, you better be interested. Even if you're black, you should care about what's happening to Mexican people. If you're black or you're Asian and you don't care about things that are happening to black people, you should. If you're black and you don't care about things that are happening to Asian people, you should. Because today, uh, they're attacking or discriminating Asian people. Tomorrow, it could be us. It could be black people. You get what I'm saying? Like, today, it could be black people getting discriminated against. And guess what? Tomorrow, it could be it could be my Mexican folks. The next day, it could be the Japanese folks. So, like, we got to watch all of our backs. Because if we just keep letting things discriminate against one group, and we're like, nah, we good. We don't need to, we don't need, we don't need to get involved. That's not our business. It is. Because things... We, Karma come back around, baby. Karma come back around, period. Like, if you don't understand that, this is going to be a hard con concept for you to understand because karma comes back around. How are you going to put down one group and expect to be fine? You know what I'm saying, Rico? Like, how are you going to put down one group and expect to be fine? If you if you oppress black people, you think the world going to be fine and no issues going to rise? Baby, the issue is going to rise. And they're gonna hit you but why like why we, we could avoid the violence and and the clashing if we were to just como se dice like understand each other and like just give each other grace patience and be leaders leaders when you hear somebody else saying a gay slur this slur this throat call them out and it's not about a call out like hey but if you see something, you can say something in a chill way because, again, a lot of people get mad at men for the way society has made them think. Yes, they have their own brains and they can unlearn stuff, but sometimes you got to call people out on stuff. Like, you got to, you feel me? Like, there's a lot of things that I used to do that I didn't stop doing until I had, like, a wake-up call. Point blank, period. Like, sometimes you need somebody to tell you, like, hey, like, a, like an intervention almost. And sometimes, you know, this is kind of the, not burden, but this is kind of the chip on your shoulder as being a person that, knows these things and you know what i'm saying you, you have this knowledge you're gonna spread it not everybody has the direct words that you got i don't think everybody analyzes the world the way that i do you know a lot of men are trapped and they don't understand why they're like damn i just feel so ugh. like they yeah you know a lot of people get out i'm one of them i know a lot of men that are 
open like they they're, they're free there's there's so many there's there's men out there that are free but this is for i suppose the people that aren't or people that need to help others like we got to be leaders you know if you see some like if you see these patterns if you hear somebody getting called a pussy for not wanting to do something manly like shut it down and be like oh no he good like just because he didn't do it he's not a pussy he just didn't want to do it like you got to speak up like i gotta speak up you gotta speak up we gotta speak up as a community you know what i mean because again there's like there's people that understand this like that out there like there's people like me out there we just gotta know but yeah i'm gonna get off here i'm hungry i'm gonna go hang out with my girlfriend i always end the videos talking about i'm hungry i be hungry i be hungry i just came back from la so i'm gonna eat something but again just think about that sit with it like and this goes for everybody it's not just one group we gotta watch out for all of us like racist remarks transphobic remarks fat phobic remarks xenophobic remarks just like anti-native like bro there's so many things watch out for each other bro that's that's what we gotta do we gotta watch out for each other like we need community and community is also meaning standing up for each other don't matter if your mexican homie ain't in the room and you hear somebody over you overhear somebody talking down about mexican people say something bro because it don't just you don't have to be buddy buddy with somebody to stand up for them like just no do it because it's the right thing out of your heart period all right y'all peace out i'm gonna go eat